Uh, hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll talk about new agent implemented in Sparrow and this agent works with um, unstructured for data processing and data preparation for LLM and with Langchain, which helps to uh, connect and call uh, LLM logic, uh, which runs locally on Olama. And finally, with uh, Sparrow Pydantic class, dynamic Pydantic class, which is implemented in Sparrow, uh, we are validating the output that we get from LLM. And we're using LLM, which uh, helps to return structured uh, JSON output. And I'll talk about it in, in, a, in a moment. Okay, so let's see the example first. Uh, this is how we invoke the agent uh, through Sparrow utility. We pass the field names that we want to extract from the document. In this case, we pass the field names that are located inside the table. And uh, for this agent, we implemented option which um, helps to work with table data only. So if your document uh, contains tables, then and if you want to extract data from tables only, you can pass tables flag and agent will identify with the help of unstructured, it will identify tables inside the document and it will process uh, documents only. If you want to process entire document, then you, you don't specify any option here and the agent would work as, as usual. And this option, uh, the bug option here, which uh, uh, allows to store intermediate data extracted by unstructured to disk, so you could uh, uh, debug and review the data which was extracted and prepared by unstructured. And <coughs> as an agent name, we're using unstructured light and we pass the file name here. Okay, so then the agent runs, executes the pi uh, RAC pipeline, and then here we get back the result. So we get list of um, invoice items, list of invoice uh, uh, item prices and the total for the invoice. So this data, uh, first two elements are located in one table and total is located in the, in the second table. Sample uh, PDF you can view, it's inside the uh, source code, inside the Sparrow, it's this one, invoice one PDF. Okay, so this is how uh, it works, the, the example. And now let's look into the code. So first of all, uh, requirements. There's a separate uh, virtual environment created for uh, this unstructured agent because it's using uh, technology which is not used in other agents like unstructured and long chain. Then the HromaDB is being used. Uh, it's not the recent version of unstructured, but uh, soon I'll update to the recent one. But with this version, uh, it works uh, quite well as well. Okay, so that's about requirements. And then if you look into the config, you can see that uh, this uh, unstructured light agent is using uh, this specific LLM that is hosted on Olama. Uh, this is NoHermes 2 Pro and uh, it's a JSON tag. This means this specific LLM is tuned to uh, return uh, data in a JSON format, which is already great for us and uh, it saves from uh, additional post-processing uh, of the LLM response. And we're using uh, several properties from unstructured, like a uh, light strategy, uh, the, like a strategy and model for the data extraction from PDF. There are multiple options from unstructured. Those ones seem work the best. Also, you should give it a try uh, with other options, and yeah, I'll post uh, updates uh, in future videos. Then we specify how we uh, define a chunk and overlap. Uh, for the for the data processing, data extraction, and uh, for the unstructured part, then we specify local embeddings that are downloaded from Hugging Face, and in this case, I'm running on local CPU, so devices CPU. Okay, and when we specify option to work with tables only, uh, unstructured detects tables in the document and converts them to HTML structure. So the table content from PDF is translated to uh, table content using HTML tags. And actually this uh, helps for LLM to process data and extract data uh, better, more effectively when we pass to LLM uh, table encoded with HTML tags instead of just a raw text table. Because this way LLM can identify the columns and rows. 
and it makes more reliable data extraction. Okay, so this is the main code of the agent, and I'll walk through walk through the we'll go through the uh, flow of the agent and just to give you an idea how it works. And you can view the code yourself. It's inside Sparrow GitHub. I'll post the URL to the code below the video. Okay, so in the first step, we check if the flag to extract tables is set or not. Then uh, we invoke uh, uh, step to extract uh, elements from PDF. And if you go here to the implementation, uh, this is the partition PDF is a method from structured. Uh, it gets all the elements from the PDF. Right, and then what goes next? We check if we are not in a debug mode. We're using temporary file to avoid saving data to, to disk, just process data in memory. And this would should improve the processing when we run with concurrent users. And what we do here, we call method load text data. Then in the next method, we do split text and prepare vector store, connect to a llama, finally execute the query. And here we do validate output. And validate output, uh, we are validating output with Sparrow dynamic PDID class. We are checking if all the fields that were requested are included into the response and if types are matching the types that. Uh, was specified in the request. So load text da data, what it does uh, here, it's basically pro uh, processing. It converts the uh, uh, elements re retrieved by a structure into the JSON structure, and then it converts this JSON structure into HTML structure. Uh, it, and basically, it creates a text file, and then we load uh, using long chain Text loader will load uh, this text data, construct documents, and then uh, split uh, split the text and uh, pass <coughs> pass all the structure to uh, long chain to execute with LLM. Okay, and here in the validate output we get the output that we receive from LLM and pass it through dynamic pedantic class to identify if the response is matching the request. Yeah, okay, so that's mainly uh, all the important steps. And uh, the, the main advantage of unstructured in this case that it's able to identify uh, tables. It's able to convert uh, table structure to HTML structure, and this helps uh, uh, LLM to extract data easier. And then we're using uh, uh, LLM, which uh, is able to return uh, JSON structure, and we're using our uh, own Pydantic dynamic class to validate the output. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.